you know, today you have, you know, you, we're living in different, you know, people are watching all over the world. You accept Islam. And when you accept Islam, you have to make certain changes in your life. Whether you accept Islam, meaning you took Shahada, you used to be Christian, Jewish, Hindu, agnostic, atheist, whatever you, Buddhist, whatever you used to be, you became Muslim, there are going to be some changes in your life. Or you were Muslim, but you were asleep, and then Allah woke you up. And then the Islam inside you woke up. There are going to be certain changes in your life. The, the, those changes are going to be very visible to your family and friends. You're going to sit in different company now. You're not going to enjoy the same old parties that you used to, because you see certain things are not permissible in those parties. You're going to notice that the way you used to make money is not very good, so you're going to lose some business. You might even have to quit your job as a result. There were some associations, friends, you know, affiliations you used to enjoy, and they were a regular part of your life, and you've cut yourself out of those associations, because those things led to bad, bad to worse, to worse, to worse. So you're going to become more and more and more isolated when you turn, when you take your religion seriously at first, because there are certain things your religion doesn't allow you to do. And the people around you have no problem with it. So they'll notice that you've become weird. You've become isolated. You've become cut off. And they're gonna call you a fool. And when you try to give them da'wah, or you try to say, hey, you should listen to this. Hey, why don't you come to the masjid with me? They're gonna say, no, you want me to be like you? Is that, is that what you want? You want me to be, be turned into a weirdo extremist like yourself? No thanks. You're gonna hear these words from your cousins, your siblings, your family members, your friends. Those are the people that are gonna think you're strange. You're an idiot for doing what you're doing. You're, you're way too extreme, man. Just relax. Take a balanced approach like me. Gulp, gulp, gulp. You know? <laughs> you know? So this, this problem still exists. It still exists. And u'minu kama amana sufaha. Allah turns around and says, Allah, inna hum humus sufaha. You had better realize. You see Allah again? Yani intabihu, pay attention. You better realize, you better not forget. Those people, they and only they, like no other, are the ultimate idiots. They are the ultimate fools. In what sense are those people fools? Now I told you what they thought of as foolish. They thought of as foolish that you're missing out on life. You made all these sacrifices for what? Jannah is easy man, you don't have to make all these sacrifices. Be a little bit good in Ramadan, catch the 27th or something and you'll be fine. You know? But then on the other side, when Allah calls them fools, He has a different definition of fool, doesn't He? So we have to think about how does Allah mean fool? And so Al-Kafawi rahimahullah, pondering over what does Allah mean by a fool? Because we know what they meant by a fool. We need to understand what Allah means by a fool. He comments, comments on it like this, and I won't translate first, because it's so poetically written. I'll read the whole thing first, and I'll come back and translate. ظاهر الجهل عظيم العقل خفيف اللب ضعيف الرأي رديء الفهم مستخف القدر سريع الذنب حقير النفس مخدوع الشيطان أسير أسير الطغيان دائم العصيان ملازم الكفران لا يبالي بما كان وما يكون أو سوف يكون سبحان الله Jahal. He's obviously just led by his vile emotions. Whatever comes in his mouth, he says. Whatever he feels like doing, he does. Adimul Akal. Never he refuses to think. Think about what you're doing. Ah, forget it, man. I don't want to think about it. You think for me. Khafiful Lub. No, very light in their ability to ponder and reflect. You know, when you drown your ears out with music and it's constantly pounding in your head, or you're just, your eyes are exhausted with episode after episode after episode. What, what time do you have left to think? Even when the, when the screen is off, you're thinking about the next episode. You're not thinking about why you exist or what your purpose is for exist. Like you don't, you know? And those mindless beats are still pounding in your head as you're walking around. That's all that's going on in your head. It's taken over. Khafiful lub. They, they don't use this, this incredible thing Allah gave the human being, this mind. They've numbed this mind. It has its own kind of drugs. And, and, and like, an addiction to entertainment is a drug by itself. That kills your ability to think. It kills your ability to use your mind for what it should be used for. And it's not just for young people. We have elders in our community addicted to soap operas or aunties addicted to Pakistani dramas and you know ab kya hoga unki shaadi hogi ke nahi hogi like they're gonna you know <laughs> they're just drowned in this stuff daif ur ra'yi weak in a weak in forming any opinion i don't know i'm not sure 
Living a whole life of I'm not sure, I don't know. No, nothing's clear in life. Radi'ul Fahmi, you know, just completely like uh, rejected in terms of understanding. In other words, they don't they don't care to develop an understanding of anything. Mustaqifful Qadr, and now they're less and less, and less capable. Sari'u them very quick to do sins though. Very quick to do sins. Haqirun nafs. Basically, no dignity, of no respect for self. Then no self-respect. Makhdu'u shaitan, completely deceived by shaitan. Asiru tughyan, they've become a prisoner to their own disobediences to God. They are addicted to sinning against Allah. Prisoners to rebellion. Da'imul isyan, constantly sinning. Constantly doing evil. Mulazimul kufran, completely, the only thing they're committed to is ingratitude. They just can't be grateful. Always entitled for more and more and more. لا يبالي بما كان أو لا لا ولا بما هو كائن أو سوف يكون. They don't care about what has been, what they've done in the past, what they're gonna be do, what they're doing now, and what they're gonna be doing. No care, or consideration for consequences. What what's a bigger fool than that? إنهم هم الصفاء. Those carefree, you know, completely oblivious people. They are the ultimate fools.